<laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the world of the perfect food, the superfood, the bean. The Daily Bean is my cookbook and it's all about how to bring this wonderful ingredient into your life and create a healthy scenario in this time when that's what we all need. Today we're going to be moving into the white beans. Three kinds of white beans. We've got navy beans, cannellini beans, and great northern. All of them are very mild, mild flavored bean and they tend to be very sponge-like and they will absorb any flavors that you are cooking, which makes them wonderful for what we are going to be making today. I'm going to be using great northern. We save the cannellini beans a little bit more since they're very, very creamy bean for some of the desserts we'll be looking at, such as cream puffs. All right, the filling is from white beans. So today we are going to be making Escarole e fagioli, which translated from Italian means beans and greens. It is so peasant, so perfectly groundedly wonderful home for me. And not to mention the massive amounts of phosphorus, calcium, B complex vitamins this dish is going to contain that are the building blocks of muscles, bones, everything we need to stay healthy. So for this recipe, we have a better olive oil, a nice extra virgin, full body olive oil. We have one cup of chicken broth. If you're going vegetarian, you could use water or you could use a vegetable broth. One half cup chop chopped parsley, very finely chopped, and escarole. Escarole might be hard to find. It's in with the lettuces and it might look like a flat, weirdly shaped lettuce to you, but Go with the little band. It will say escarole. Very, very full of vitamin C. We need three large cloves of garlic, thinly sliced. I don't know if you're all familiar with how to peel garlic, which can be frustrating and stopping you right there. But if you take a clove, take a large flat knife, take the heel of your hand, and hit it. And look. The peel comes right off, ready for slicing. And we will need two cans of Great Northern Beans. The cans are about 15.5 ounce cans. And I want you to look at this can only because I want you to remember that this fabulous meal we are making came from two of these cans. So to start, we are going to heat up a pan and add about four tablespoons of this wonderful olive oil. This pan has been heating so it is ready. We are going to add the garlic to that pan. Lower the heat a little bit because we want to be very, very careful about not burning this garlic. Nothing is worse than a burned garlic smell or taste in your dinner. So we're just going to stir it until it becomes a light, light, toasty golden brown. We don't want it any darker than that. This helps to bring out the flavor. And if you could just smell this, and you will when you make this dish, it's an incredible scent. So to that, we are going to add the escarole. This looks like a lot, but it will cook down. We will add the parsley. We will add the chicken broth. We'll stir it up and we're going to want to bring it to a boil. This is the point where you will salt and pepper to taste. I like to use a nice pink Himalayan sea salt. Kosher salt would be excellent. And ground pepper is the way to go if we can get the top off. We'll bring this to a boil, which is happily approaching right now. And already the smell of this reminds me of a Friday night in Endicott, New York. It's home. It's basic comfort food. 
When this comes to a boil, we're going to turn it down back to a simmer and let it simmer for just about 25 minutes. And in that time, everything is going to start blending and softening and ready for the last ingredient. So I'll see you in 25 minutes. Okay, we're back. This has simmered for that 25 minutes. The escarole is soft. And remember that big head of escarole? Well, it's cooked down quite a bit. So now we're gonna take the two cans of drained and rinsed Great Northern Beans and add it to the escarole. Beans are already cooked, so all we're going to do here is warm them through. There is no nutritional difference between using canned beans and dried beans. Dried beans take a long time. You need to soak them. They're good if you're making a stew. They tend to absorb the flavors slowly where the white, the canned beans are just ready to go. It makes life so much easier. So we'll just crank that up just for a minute. Get those beans warmed up. Make sure the garlic and the greens are stirred through. And while that's heating up, we're just going to get a little of the sides ready. A good Italian bread. Oh dear. Again, I'm in Virginia. But a good Italian bread is, might be hard to find, but always, always goes well with beans. This is starting just to bubble up. The beans are warmed in. It's time to serve. So we're just gonna take a big scoop Get those beautiful greens in there. Get a lot of that broth in there. And this is where, if you want to spice it up a little bit, everybody could individually add their own crushed red pepper. To taste, of course. Salt and pepper also to taste. And a nice glass of red. Oh my gosh, this makes me so homesick. Look at this, and remember that can this came from. So, speaking of Endicott, hey, Julie, Susie, Lauren, Patty, isn't this cool? And if you're all enjoying these videos and it's bringing any kind of health into your life right now, please feel free to subscribe to the Daily Bean YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you.